Hey, what's up folks? Welcome back. Nerd Down on the Creek for this week. We are still in the heart of RX month. We're on the back half of it. We've got about 10 days left in the month. And so we wanted to talk, I wanted to talk a little bit about this idea of scaling in order to hit the intended stimulus. Today's workout is a seven minute AMRAP, as many rounds as possible of 12 wall balls, 100 meter run. Could not be any simpler. We are squatting, throwing something to a target, 12 times, you're heading out, monostructurally taxing yourself, coming back in, doing it again and again and again for seven minutes. Seven minutes is a time domain that it is just long enough that if you go out too fast, too hard, you're gonna hit a wall metabolically and just crap out. If you pace it too much, you're not gonna probably be able to go as fast or do as much work as you feasibly could if you legitimately find about a 75 to 80% pace and try to hold that pace across the entirety of the seven minutes, gets harder, gets a little bit harder, gets a little bit harder, you find yourself in that last 90 seconds to two minutes and you're tired, but you got a little bit of gas left in the tank to push down on the pedal and really bring it home with a final sprint. So relative perceived effort keeps increasing, 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 while actual output kind of stays, stays, maybe even goes up a little bit, and then sort of bumps out at the end, maybe a final sprint, right? So those two curves go like this, versus where if I'm going out too fast, my relative perceived effort, whoop, bonk, and I bonk in my actual output. So what does that look like in a workout like this? One minute around. That's what we're shooting for. Whatever is written on the whiteboard, or our virtual whiteboard, if uh, you're working off of, you know, a television screen or virtually through your coaching, whatever it is, or through your coach. It's 12 wall balls. That should take about 20 to 25 seconds. It's a 100 meter run. We made it a serpentine to kind of give people that coordination and cutting and shuttle runny feel about 25 to 30 seconds. With transitions, fatigue setting in, that's about a minute around. So we created our two boundaries, about six to eight rounds. Not 68, six to eight rounds, somewhere in that sweet spot of about seven rounds. The reality is we get locked into, oh, I gotta go wall balls. We always use 20 pound wall balls for guys and 14 pounds for women. And it goes to a nine foot target for the women and a 10 foot target for the men. And, and I gotta run that 100 meter, like, eh -eh. no, 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 drop it. It is totally made up. You wanna work for about 20 to 25 seconds, squatting and throwing something. Maybe that's a dumbbell thruster. Maybe it's a single arm cluster, like we have the off the creek folks doing. Maybe for you, because you're working on sore hips, your knees hurt, your low back is hurt, whatever, it's a certain amount of calories on the echo bike. Whatever that is, it doesn't matter, but it is intended to be about 20 to 25 seconds of work doing a squat and a throw. But we can mess with that. We can totally pick whatever that looks like. Maybe it's only eight wall balls. Maybe it's a lighter wall ball to a lower target. Who cares? 20 to 25 seconds of work. The run. My ankles hurt, my knees hurt. I don't really like to run, I don't want to. Great, jump on a C2 bike. Do burpees, mountain climbers. Jump over a line. It doesn't matter. Do five shuttles. Something that's about 20 to 25 seconds of work about 70 to 75% effort, that's where the sweet spot is. We warmed up, we moved a little bit, we then did three full practice rounds. Full effort of the wall balls, rest the remainder of the minute. Full effort of the run, rest the remainder of the minute, put the two together, now you have three data points to figure out, is it the two of them together? Is it one of the movements isolated? Is it one of the other movements isolated? And you get to dial in what that plan is, lock that plan in, and then execute that plan. At the end of the day, whatever the result is, that's data for you as an athlete knowing, I gotta work on my pacing. Uh, I could have gone a heavier wall ball. Uh, I should have gone a longer run. 
We hit 100% in the morning classes today. Everybody RX'd it. Even one person who went a little bit longer or a little bit more than eight rounds, doesn't matter. That was on me, but his consistent pacing across the rounds, he got the stimulus. I say that's still RX because he did what he was supposed to do and his face, when it was all over, nailed it. So both the wall ball nailed his face and his facial expression of his relative perceived effort. So anyway, everybody in those classes scaled something. How, why? Because the prescribed written workout did not tell them what ball to use. They scaled to them for where they are today in this effort to get the intended stimulus. Scaling is the road to fitness. It is not cheating. It is not shortchanging yourself. It is how you get fitter faster. A prescribed weight, volume, movement is just a guide to get you on the road to fitness. There you go. Have fun with it. See you on the creek.